Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, I'm Serene, and today's video is a first impression comparison video. You guys really enjoyed my comparison with eyeliner with the really expensive Christian Louboutin one versus a super affordable NYX matte eyeliner and if you want to see which one won on that one then make sure you check out the video in the description box. Hourglass has a mascara that's a three-piece kit that retails at around $150 before tax and then L'Oreal has a really affordable primer and Mascara. This mascara is actually a very famous one. It's such a good classic. It's the Voluminous Original. I'm going to compare the Hourglass three-piece set at $150 versus the L'Oreal Primer and Mascara, and this is going to be about $11.88 before tax. If you want to see how they compare and contrast, then just keep on watching. Let's talk about this Hourglass one first. It has this piece that you don't have to repurchase. It's the Curator Lash Instrument, and this is reusable. It's supposed to be like the perfect mascara wand. This itself is $78, and then you just twist it open and it has a metal wand. There are two little pots that go with it. This is the Curator Extended Wear Lash Primer, and this is recommended for making your mascara last a lot longer. It comes in this little tube and the Curator Defining Mascara Formula. This three-piece kit can be purchased separately. These are both $36 each. You can buy them on the Hourglass website or you can buy them in store. I recently was on Abbott Kenny in Venice and I was like, you know what? I've been wanting to test this out for a while. I've got to check it out. So the packaging is really beautiful. It's very, very luxe. I mean, if you just want this pretty packaging sitting there, you might really enjoy it. Of course, you've got the really affordable option on the complete other end of the spectrum. From L'Oreal, these were PR samples. Um, I purchased the Hourglass ones, but I would have bought these if I didn't have it in my kind of like stockpile of products to test out. I haven't used the primer at all, and I haven't used this mascara in quite some time, so it'll be interesting to see. Right eye is going to be the super expensive. Left eye is going to be the super affordable. Super close up, natural light, see what it looks like true to life. I'll do some check-ins. Let's curl my lashes. I did not wear any eyeliner because I wanted you guys to really be able to see the mascara and how it works. And I'm just gonna curl one side first so that it's fair. I'm gonna take this wand out, the primer. You put that in, I think you have to twist it. So, hmm, I have to say this wand is pretty impressive because I'm able to really get in there. Rinse this off and wiped it on a towel. So going in with the Realist Hourglass Mascara now. Putting this in. Opening that up. Whoa. You stood close in the glittering light. I have to say that that lash primer really kept my lashes curled. Like, look at how intense that curl is. Holy but Jesus, guys. That's like intense. Wow. Still just one dip. If you had trouble curling your lashes, this that primer is going to like make it really stick. Do you see that? It's almost, I feel like it's almost too much. Maybe not if I had like eyeliner, but right now I look like a freaking blinky doll. <laughs> okay, let's go into the side with L'Oreal. I'm curling it good. Going in with the voluminous base. Been waiting for you. Immediately the curls not staying as like curled, but I'm noticing more volume going in with the voluminous original Okay, so the L'Oreal side definitely still holds a curl but I feel like the immediate reaction is that this side is going to be a lot more voluminous, a lot more fluffy, and a lot cheaper. 
This side, you're gonna get that really lengthening, really separated, really curled, almost blinky doll look. Uh, so, so far, if you have trouble keeping your lashes curled and you have trouble um, defining your lashes and really getting that length and curl, you're gonna like the Hourglass more. If you want more volume, you're going to like the L'Oreal one more. I'm still pretty impressed with the L'Oreal one, but to be completely honest, the Hourglass one is really impressive kind of what it looks like. I'm going to look like a freak as I film my other videos with one lash slightly different from my other lash. It's all for the YouTube. Hey guys, it's 3 33. <laughs> I've been working and sweating a bit, so I just wanted to check in. I want you guys to see the difference in natural light. I mean, it looks pretty good. One eye looks a little bit more fluttery and this eye looks a little bit just like thicker. Um, I feel like this eye looks just wider and this one's like a little more like cat eye-esque. I don't think it's going to smudge because I haven't ever had issues with either brand. It's just kind of the look you want, really. So I rubbed my eyes, touched my face, I'm out of breath, and it's been hot. I don't think the mascara is going anywhere. This is the final kind of look at how this looks. Um, because Honey and I are going to go get some Mexican food. And I want to get you guys to see like what it looks like in late afternoon light before the light's gone. It's almost like six o'clock right now and I want to still film this in natural light. Mascara like runs on me immediately if it's going to run and if it's not, it's not. I don't ever usually have a problem with L'Oreal mascaras smudging or running on me. It's just the way it applies if I like it or not. And I have tried the mascara from Hourglass, the one that comes in a tube, and that one doesn't run on me either. So what I wanted to sit down with is very clearly you can see that each mascara has their benefits and each each mascara probably has some of its cons and I want to go over that before this video is over so let's start with the L'Oreal one because it's more affordable these are sold separately you can purchase the primer or you can just purchase the mascara on its own or together I'm already a huge fan of the voluminous mascara original from L'Oreal it's a great volumizing natural bristle mascara it has a really cool just what you expect from a typical mascara. It's not a spoolie spike or anything crazy like that. And I do find the formula to be very nice. It's long lasting. It doesn't smudge or budge until I want it to come off. It's not ultra crispy. It does a good job at holding my curl on its own, but I feel like with the primer, you can really build up the length and the volume of the product. So this is a white primer. I'm not normally a fan of mascara primers, but this one works really well because it does offer more volume and it helps the lengthening effect of using the voluminous mascara over top of it. This one does not hold a curl as well as the hourglass little combination. If you're looking for volume, I think you'll really be happy with what you can get at the drugstore for about $11, $12 to buy both of these together. Target is the cheapest that I could find um, online. These are not lacking whatsoever. Let's talk about the hourglass ones. If you think about it, because you would disinfect this and wash it, and if you wanna be really careful, you could disinfect it between each eye, you might not ever have to double dip. And if that's the case, and you keep these airtight, you can get these to last a lot longer than your typical mascaras. When these are exposed to air, when the brush touches your eye all the time, that's when bacteria breathes and that's why it's recommended to replace your mascaras between three to six months no longer than six months. Now these, for sure, you could keep for six months. Um, you might even be able to keep them a little bit longer depending how clean you are about it. The thing about this one is that you'll never have to repurchase it. So after the initial investment, you really would only have to repurchase the mascara and primer. It's a little more than the average high-end mascara, but not the most expensive high-end mascara I've tried either. This is a good option if you like luxury mascaras. It's really pretty to sit on your vanity if that matters to you. You have a really hard time with mascara, specifically if you're like my sister or you're like some of my friends who are Asian and have really stick straight lashes that do not want to curl and do not want to stay curled. I think this might be the answer to your troubles. This primer 
is like shellac glue for making your lashes longer and curled and does not it's like hairspray for your lashes it's insane i was really shocked at how well it keeps a curl not something i would personally use all the time just because i don't I, I just don't have time to prime my lashes every freaking day. I don't care enough to prime my lashes every freaking day. But for a special event or if I really wanted my lashes to be almost waterproof and super blinky dollish, then this probably would be something good to have in your kit. The other cool thing is this wand, like I mentioned, you it's just the initial investment. And what I did with it was I rinsed it in warm water and some makeup remover, and then I dried it off really well with a towel, and then I just screwed it back in here. So this, I'm curious to see how this performs with some other mascaras, like natural, like, what would this do with this? I don't wanna say either one really won because if you want volume, this is great. If you want curl and length, then this really was impressive. But do I feel like you're going to miss out if it's not in your budget and you can't afford it? I don't think you're gonna miss out. I think you'll be really happy to pick up these two. So it's really depending on how much you wanna spend, what you're looking for, and kind of how adventurous you wanna be. So I hope you guys enjoy today's First Impression Friday comparison video. I'm gonna try and do more first impressions here on my channel, so many. I have a playlist which I will link in the description box if you guys wanna catch up on my first impressions. They were really the first videos I was making consistently here on YouTube. I took a little bit of a break from it, not really just like where I'd only do one a month. I miss it, so I'm bringing them back. It won't be every Friday, but pretty much like every other Friday. New videos here every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and I have a blog, serenwoo.com, plus a podcast, Behind the Beauty Podcast. If anything, I hope my video helped motivate you and inspire you to look and feel your best from the outside in. I know when I look and feel my best, I'm just a lot more capable at dealing with whatever life has to throw at me. If that speaks to you, I'm really happy you found my channel. At the end of the day, I just hope my videos helped you unwind, de-stress, and take your mind off of whatever it was you needed help taking your mind off of. Until next time, I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.